Big 961 and top of the morning to you. It is uh, 12 minutes after 8 o'clock. Jerry Randall Harvey here. And on the phone with me is uh, Bethany Hill from uh, Washington Middle School. How are you doing this morning? I'm great. Trying to stay warm. I'm you know, glad it finally feels like winter. <laughs> it, it does that, let me tell you. Uh, I always get nervous when I when I know the principals around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you That's know? funny. Yeah, that kind of goes back to when I was in school, but we won't talk about that too much. So, <laughs> it's uh, you said that the uh, the first what is it, the first semester of the school is is over. It's well, I mean, it's getting close. It wraps up um, the very beginning of January when we come back. So wow. I mean, we're the older school. You know, Barton and the high school are going to have exams next week. We're going to do some fun things next week and take the kids to see a movie and. Um, Lots of fun things to kind of celebrate the end of the first semester. What are you going to see? The uh, School of Rock? We have a 90s theme this year. So everything in the school is all about the 90s. So we're going to go see Jingle All the Way. Um, oh, yeah. That was out in like 1996, I think. Yeah, that that's a great movie and a great time to, to see it, obviously. So, uh, yeah. The, you know, it's it, it, always something going on at the El Dorado School District. And uh, Washington Middle School, you guys – Amaze me with all the different things that you come up with. Now, now you started it last year the, about the houses and everything. So tell us a little bit about what that is and how it's how it's working this year. Okay, so this year we actually purchased an app that goes with the house system, and it's um, mirrored with um, Ron Clark Academy in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a school there, and they created this app, and the kids get to spin a wheel and find out what house they're in. We have four houses. We have the black house, which is the best because it's my house. We have the red house, um, the green house, and the blue house, and the kids are all, you know, randomly selected for their houses, and then it's a year-long competition to see which house earns the most points. And when students are caught, you know, holding the door open for somebody or picking up trash without being asked or show a lot of growth on an assessment, um, they earn points. And then their face will show up on the screen. Um, We have TV screens in all the hallways. So they can see who is contributing to their team and who's on their house in their house. And right now, unfortunately, the blue house is in the lead. What? And the black team is in third place right now. But we're going to come back up. Yeah, don't you have some pool? I mean, don't you know somebody? I know. You know, we've got. I tell them all the time. The black house <laughs> kids tell me, but they're like, "You can just give us some extra points." I'm like, "No, we're going to win this fairly." <laughs> that's right. Uh, and we're going to win, but we're going to do it the right way. And uh, so, yeah, it's that's, fun that's because beautiful. when a house takes the lead. Um, a dragon comes on the screen and blows fire and like their flag melts away and the new flag takes the top spot. So it's pretty cool. Oh, we, we should do that around here. That'd be fun. Too. Yeah. That's a, well, that's great because it that'd teaches, be yeah, because it teaches, you know, life lessons. I mean, that's really great. It, it's not yeah. something you just, you know, when, when middle school is over with, you'll, you know, they'll throw it away. You know, you're, you're, you're building that foundation. You do good things, good things happen for you. And, uh, that's right yeah and and you and and also you're teaching that you know that you have to make it happen mm-hmm. yeah so you want you want good things yeah. to happen to yourself well you gotta make it happen absolutely so uh Christmas is coming up and um I know you guys always look forward to especially teaching the kids right after they come back from Christmas aren't they they're all settled down and they're ready to learn and Yes, it's pretty incredible how much students grow from um, Christmas break to January. Like, I'm always surprised. They come back, they've grown three inches, and they've, you know, <laughs> they've matured, and um, they just are ready to go. And I think we've had a really good first semester. We've kind of gotten to be able to do some things this year that we haven't been able to do in the last two years due to COVID. We had a huge um, music program last night with our band, orchestra, ukuleles, and music production class. And we actually got to have parents, and our gym was full. And it kind of almost made me emotional thinking about this is the first time in two years we've been able to do something like that. Yeah, that's really crazy thinking that way. Um, what, do you, what do you want for Christmas? I mean, because Santa Claus is listening, you know. You know. He listens online. Well, I don't know. That's a good question. I hadn't really thought about it. Um, I think I'll just be happy with having time to spend with family and being able to read a few books. That's what I like to do on my own, my time alone. You know, I find that kind of interesting how many teachers, when you talk to them, they, they enjoy reading. I think that uh, a little trend going there. Yes, I love to read. I try to encourage 
you know, I, you know what I want for Christmas? I want every kid to find a book that they love and find a passion for reading because we all know that the more they read, the more they'll grow and mm-hmm. the more vocabulary they will build. Absolutely. And, you know, when you're at that age, you know, you always hear the adults tell you, but sometimes you forget that, uh, or you just don't know, that uh, uh, communication verbally and also r- the written word is, is going to be so important in your life. That's right. I wish I had known as a kid. I hated to read as a, as a child. And so I wish we could, you know, encourage kids and they would hear us. Some of them will, some of them won't. And they'll, yeah. When they're adults later, they'll be saying, man, I wish I would have listened to Miss Hale and, <laughs> you know, found a book that I like to read. Absolutely. Well, I hope you have a great Christmas. And I hope that um, Thank you. I hope the next uh, semester is well. And we'll we'll talk again, I'm sure, before the year is over. That'll be here before you oh, know yeah. it. You know, you'll look up. 2022 is around the corner. School will be out, and then you get ready for another year. It's crazy. It goes by fast. It does. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, and uh, and here's to a great Christmas for you and yours.